All right, hello, citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Nigeria once again, and and this is gonna be another wrestling match review. So right off the bat, before we get a couple things for starters, I do have my fan going as uh, as uh, is now warm. I remember we're approaching that summertime weather here in Buffalo, so uh, make sure to talk nice and loud so that uh, the fan doesn't drown out my voice. Hopefully, it's not too bad for you guys. Uh, I, uh, if it is, please let me know, oh, and I can always uh, try and adjust and everything. Uh, but the other thing is, uh, I've rectified the mistake I made yesterday by not wearing my Spider-Man shirt. And then barely than ever, I guess. But, <clears throat> and nevertheless, like I said, I got another wrestling review for you guys. So, this Saturday at Backlash, for the first time ever, Cody Rhodes uh, will he'll face AJ Styles. Listen, they're going to be facing for the... Uh, WWE, uh, the Undisputed WWE Championship. Uh, uh, now it's just called the, uh, <clears throat> I guess now it's just called the Undisputed WWE Championship, and I imagine probably at some point it'll just be called the uh, plain old, uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> plain old uh, WWE Championship, if I imagine at some point, because that's usually how it goes. But uh, I, uh, in the meantime, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Cody Rhodes, AJ Styles, first time ever that they're going to be in the ring against each other. Now, this is the first time Cody Rhodes has been across the ring from AJ Styles, but what if I told you it's not the first time that AJ Styles has faced a member of the Rhodes family? What if I told you that, I'd say, almost 20 years ago, oh, uh, Oh, or, or perhaps even about 20 years ago. Oh, uh, I forget it, it, uh, exactly what it takes place. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, <clears throat> what if I told you that at, uh, at, at about 20 years ago or so, oh, uh, AJ Styles faced is the Elder Rhodes for the NWA World Championship. I'm, t of course, talking about T uh, NWA's TNA, a, uh, a uh, pay-per-view number 65, AJ Styles versus Dusty Rhodes. Uh, oh, so this is back when uh, this is back when they were having weekly pay-per-views. This is uh, before it became like a weekly TV uh, uh, slot. So, so this probably I imagine this was likely in two and uh, two thousand two. Um, <clears throat> around there, for, and a couple things, I think, give that way. For stars, it's still called NWA TNA, when, uh, and that's how it was at first, like, NWA um, was heavily a part of it towards the beginning, and, and uh, eventually NWA kind of phased out from TNA and just became regular old TNA after a while, but also, uh, well, also, that young, young uh, very young AJ Styles, that very a young uh, AJ Styles still uh, he'll not that long into the business, but is but um, uh, but uh, seeking to take the NWA Championship away from Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. Uh, him, uh, would AJ Styles be successful in that endeavor? Let's find out. Uh, uh, of course, if you have seen these reviews tonight before, you kind of know how this works. If you haven't, let me talk about what I liked and disliked about uh, the match. Uh, uh, so starting with what I liked, uh, I think the story they told, they got across, um, they got across relatively well. Man, what's it with the Rhodes family in stories? Uh, but the story here being uh, AJ Styles, this, this is a heel AJ Styles, which, which, um, which you very rarely associate this look at AJ Styles with heel, but uh, but of course this being heel AJ Styles was uh, was uh, going after her, uh, Dusty Rhodes being very vicious towards uh, Dusty Rhodes, not quite respecting his elders, unfortunately. Meanwhile, oh Dusty using all the tricks in the book, of course him being the veteran to go after her, uh, the young whippersnapper in AJ Styles, excuse me, in AJ Styles, but. Yeah, AJ especially taking it to uh, Dusty here, uh, including in, uh, in some cheating on the outside, I'd, I'd, uh, inc I'd, uh, including uh, with some help from uh, Vince Russo. Oh, uh, oh uh, Vince Russo was, this is when Vince Russo was a part of TNA before he left and before he came back again. Uh, but yeah, so Vince Russo, oh, uh, part of TNA here, and managing AJ Styles to the ring. And uh, thankfully he didn't, thankfully he didn't cut a shoot promo this time around like he did at Bash of the Beach 2000. But, uh, but apparently in storyline, Vince Russo is very drunk and they're talking about it on commentary. Uh, 
yeah, I forget who the other commentator is. is uh, it's that Adley, like, you can tell, um, oh, I gotta catch up on my TNA lore, or, uh, but I know one of the commentators was Mike TNA, but, uh, them talking about how, uh, Vince was all drunk and acting all erratically and stuff like that. Hopefully that wasn't for shootsies, but, uh, nevertheless, uh, <clears throat> Uh, but nevertheless, so AJ a uh, targeting Dusty's knee. He's and they and uh, get them to bring up on commentary one of Dusty's weak points being his knees. He's got bad knees. He's and you can even see uh, some of the uh, tape around one of the knee. He's. I thought at first it was a knee pad, uh, or or it might still be a knee pad. At uh, admittedly, it's a bit hard to tell. My side isn't quite what it used to be. But uh, AJ going after Dusty Rhodes uh, let eggs and just is very viciously going after her, uh, Dusty. Not quite doing as much of the high flying uh, this time around. And, uh, du <clears throat> Hound, uh, AJ, they also put over AJ, usually doing the high flying, but not quite doing it as much in this match. Uh, definitely more about going for Dusty, including uh, giving Dusty a bit of color there and busting uh, Dusty open. I believe I believe it was with the baseball bat that uh, that was given to him by uh, Vince Russo. Oh, uh, oh, that busted Dusty open. Uh, of course, it's not a. Uh, I was I was gonna say it's not a Dusty Rhodes match without some color, but even Cody has had some color or, uh, before. Hell, Cody had some color this year or, or, uh, in the Build to Mania, but I didn't, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a Rhodes match without some color. Or, uh, and and Dusty does get some uh, color there. Uh, Aaron and is uh, busted open and by it, and AJ uh, exploiting that wound. And, uh, and some more, and her, and uh, and of course, at another point, Dusty has AJ Styles in the figure four. Or, uh, and, and, uh, and a couple interesting things I bring up on commentary. The fir first being that when Dusty Rhodes won the NWA World title, well, uh, Oh, for the first time, I'm, uh, I'm in 1978. AJ Styles was only one years old, old uh, which is crazy to think about. But and also, uh, but al also the fact that, uh, uh, well, also the fact that Dusty Rhodes used the figure four uh, to win the NWA World Championship, and I imagine that might that might be. And this is kind of just a theory on my part. Someone uh, confirm or deny this in the comments, although I can uh, always look it up later. Or is that where Ric Flair got the figure four from? But uh, nevertheless, has Dusty does have the figure four. AJ's tapping, but the referee was taken out earlier in the match, and then a AJ essentially uh, cheating to win, locking a figure four on Dusty and uh, du and uh, holding on to the ropes for leverage. Dusty passing out, shoulders on the mat, and, and counts the three. So AJ actually gets the win off of that. Like I've seen that spot where you know they're in the in like the figure four, and then they put their shoulders down onto like you know because oh they're in so much pain they're writhing in pain but then the referee starts counting so they shoot back up because they don't want to get pinned but i think this is the first time i've seen it where era era duh where uh, someone actually has the shoulders down, and that's actually the three, and that's actually uh, the way hey, uh, the match is won. And and in co and on the commentary, they are just ripping into AJ, talking about oh how like how upset, how like he how he cheated to win, how he tapped out out, and uh, the referee didn't see it, hit, and then and pretty much cheat to win, cheat to beat uh, Dusty Rhodes, which yeah, fair point, but. Uh, I mean, but uh, nevertheless, so yeah, so oh, the story being told that everybody plays the roles I think uh, in, uh, relatively well for the most part, and and it, it uh, comes across. Uh, what I didn't quite I like about the match, and like I said, not as much like the high flying stuff, which it you don't, which I feel like it, you don't necessarily don't want it to be overloaded unless that's kind of the whole idea of the match, which this one it very much wasn't, but uh, not as much, but had um that they 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 kind of lose on commentary that AJ might be hurt, uh, even Vince Russo telling AJ, like, go up to the top rope, AJ saying, no, he doesn't want to do that because, um, because his leg is hurt, which is then what prompts him to lock in the figure four, uh, but at the other... Or, uh, but the other thing is, is even the finish. Like, the finish, I do get, like, I uh, so they can put over in commentary that Dusty didn't tap out how and uh, how he uh, passed out. But uh, at the same time, almost, it almost falls kind of flat, I feel like, uh, like, like, as a finish. Like, I think there's a reason that that usually isn't the finish of the match or and when they, like, power out and stuff uh, uh, or, like, get their shoulders back up once they're on there. It, it did feel, it, it did feel kind of flat. Like, that's what ends the match. Like, like, uh... Like, like even the crowd out afterwards were like, oh, that's... Like, like, the crowd house were... Or, like, they weren't, like... 
necessarily upset, but they you could tell they were a bit confused, and uh, and I kind of was as well. Maybe, maybe that's just me, but uh, yeah, yeah, like hey, uh, hey, but uh, Styles getting the win that way, like you, you know, you get it. Put it does put over Dusty. It shows how tough Dusty is, and that's at uh, he passed out. AJ, hey, uh, had to force him to pass out because how uh, because he couldn't really beat him. Like I, like you can tell that's kind of what they were going for, and it's a story that they've told several times throughout uh, the history of pro wrestling before and since. Uh, this match, but I feel like it didn't quite come across uh, as as a uh, <clears throat> it uh, it uh, d- didn't com- come across quite as uh, well as they would have hoped or expected. Uh, but uh, uh, w- but will AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes live up to their hype? And uh, what will happen when AJ uh, hey about twenty plus years later faces Dusty's kid? Hey, as CM Punk uh, puts it, we'll find out. Out uh, this Saturday, hey, and of course, um, my predictions, everything will come uh, will be coming this week. Um, I'm debating on whether I want to do my predictions. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do my predictions before the event, but um, what? But I, I, I imagine what I might do is uh, kind of do what we did for um, uh, for Elimination Chamber, where the event, uh, the same day as the event, is when I upload my review. And thankfully, I don't work on Saturdays anymore, so now I get to actually watch it. Uh, but, but, um, but I wonder if I'll do it that way or, like, uh, I, I guess it depends on when it ends and when I can get the video up, uh, because, as, of course, you know, I don't like to upload too late, but, uh, we will see what happens, but the predictions will, pro- will definitely be later on this week, I imagine probably Friday or so, oh, uh, oh, uh, either Wednesday or Friday, I'm not entirely sure which day I want to have my predictions just yet, but, uh, in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, uh, if you did, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications. So you know every time I upload a video, see you soon as it drops. And let me know in the comments all your thoughts on the match, my review of the match. Uh, do you like to like the match? Do you like to like my review of the match? Uh, let me know. Uh, this match is up on YouTube, the whole match in its entirety on uh, the TNA uh, YouTube channel. So you can go check it out there. That's how I uh, checked it out. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.